One of the other benefits of having an Azure Active Directory is the ability to host an application within that directory that maybe you just don't have in your on-premise environment and maybe you just don't want to deal with having to support the infrastructure required to host that application. So this is exactly what Azure is for. In the same way that you can create a SQL database without having to worry about the server, you can have this application without having to worry about the infrastructure required for that application. So we're going to take a look at uh, adding in what's known as a gallery application in this demonstration here. And then later on, we'll see how to add in a custom application that maybe you're developing within your own environment. So we can see that we have one here already, just one that I added in called Google Apps. But we'll still go through the process as to how you can add those in. So we, we have the directory here and you can see right there is the applications page. Now, if you don't have any, then you'll simply have a link right here that says add an application. But there's the same option right there to add one in. So we can just click on that. And there you see are the two choices to add an application that your organization is developing. And that's what we'll see later on. But this is the same idea. You just want to deal with the application and not so much the infrastructure required to support it. That's going to come from Azure. But in this case, we can choose one that is already available. It's already developed and ready to go. So we can just click on the From Gallery option. And you can see that there is uh, quite an extensive list of available applications. And this is growing all the time. Uh, currently, at the time of this recording, you see under the All category, 2,477 applications. And again, that is growing all of the time. So it really is, is uh, just a matter of searching for the appropriate application. So we've got a categorized list, or you can just search up here if you know exactly what it is, uh, or you can just browse through the all if you want to. Now, what you'll find is that when you click on any application here, uh, it will give you a description over here about what this application is all about. And there's a link to the home page, for example, for GoToMeeting. So most of them, you'll find that they do require an existing subscription. But what it then allows you to do is to configure single sign-on with that application so that your users when trying to access the application don't have to have a separate set of credentials to log into Azure and then to the application. The single sign-on basically accepts their user information from Azure and allows the sign-on to your subscription with just that single set of credentials. So once again, the goal is to not have to manage multiple user accounts, usernames and passwords we just want that single sign-on. So again, there's the benefit of hosting an application within the Azure Active Directory. We can access the application using the existing accounts that we already know. So as I mentioned, it's just a matter now of choosing the application. It doesn't really matter which one for my demonstration purposes here. There's the Google Apps one that I chose earlier. Uh, so you really, you just click on OK and it adds in that application. Now, of course, it has to be configured after the fact, uh, but basically everything that's required to use that application is now available. So here you see are the options such as configuring single sign-on, any kind of user provisioning uh, that might be necessary or assigning which users are able to access the application because as, you know, as always, maybe not every user should be allowed to use it and that's up to you of course but those are some of the features you get so once you have a pretty good handle on which applications you want to implement it's just a matter of adding them in from the gallery doing some of the post configuration necessary to enable single sign-on and things like that but adding in those applications of course uh, is, a, is a fairly simple matter uh, but the more you have like anything in Azure the more your subscription will cost but you always get the benefit of not having to deploy this application locally in your own environment nor do you have to handle the infrastructure required as part of that application. Simply implement it into your Azure Active Directory and it is uh, ready to be used and implemented and configured fairly quickly, fairly easily once you decide which applications you need.